I'm, I'm the Vice President of Science and Technology for Viral Vector Services within the Pharma Services Group at Thermo Fisher Scientific. And um, uh, prior to that, I was the Chief Scientific Officer uh, of Brammer Bio. So the, the journey began in the, in the 80s where I was introduced to the field of gene therapy by UF's uh, eminent scholar, Nick Musitska. And um, under his mentorship, I uh, got my PhD and, and then went on to a postdoc and into the gene therapy industry, which was just beginning at that time. Uh, and stayed there for a number of years in the 90s before being recruited to Harvard Medical School, where I um, then found myself being recruited by the University of Florida, and specifically the Powell Gene Therapy Center, where it was destined to become medicine, and so I, my focus was to establish a, a manufacturing facility that was in compliance with the FDA good manufacturing practices regulations. And after that was set up and we started making drugs, uh, Dr. Wynne Phillips recruited me to establish the Center of Excellence. And we did that in the business park out in Progress uh, Park where we established a larger GMP manufacturing facility to manufacture these novel drugs and also established an education center called Biotility. So when they asked me to nominate Innovate, Innovator of the Year, to me that was a no-brainer because he has been a professor for many years at UF. He has developed quite some impressive technologies. He was, he was really at the forefront of this AAV development. Um, and he believed in it. So at some point he actually had the guts to take it out of UF and start a company. So that manufacturing center was called Florida Biologics and we were in, in operation for nearly a decade before the university wanted to spin it out into a private company, which we did in 2015. But a few months after that, we uh, merged with a company out of Massachusetts called Brammer Biopharmaceuticals and the CEO, Mark Bamforth, brought an incredible amount of horsepower to our business. We grew the executive team and purchased facilities in Massachusetts, invested in our Alachua facilities, and really grew that business uh, to 600 people and a much larger client base before being acquired by Thermo Fisher Scientific in 2019. Well, it is his AAV technology where he uses a special um, approach, I would say. It's a different approach and um, it's called baculovirus approach, and you use insect cells for that. That is, is, that's his baby, basically, and that's what he believed in, and that's what he took out of uh, UF, and that now is one of the bigger platforms when they produce gene therapy. So it means a lot to me to be recognized by the university, UF Innovate, and Tech Licensing um, to receive this. I find it highly significant given the uh, world-class profile that UF Innovate, Tech Licensing, and the University have around uh, commercialization of technologies. I think the um, recognition of, of a partnership that continues today uh, with Thermo Fisher Scientific is really healthy for our community, um, creating jobs and, and uh, continuing to invest in, in in the high-tech uh, area that, that uh, Gainesville is.